Hello everybody, uh, this is Kathy again from the Blue Butterfly. Um, lovely to uh, to be talking to you again. Um, this, this video is, um, I'm filming this just as a card reveal, uh, as part of the video, for the, uh, the post I put on my Facebook page with the three cards, which whichever you're drawn to, um, to choose from those, and I'm going to do that card reveal in a little bit. And that information is really uh, just where you are now and some guidance just to take you through really from now until about the middle of November when we get to the new moon. Um, I'm also going to be talking about the fact that Halloween and the full moon coincide, obviously a very powerful time. And um, also, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you, thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for your comments, your lovely messages to me recently, your emails, your continued support. And uh, I'm just so honored to, to be part of this wonderful community and for us to, to, to kind of be there for each other and to support you as you go on your journey, um, as others have supported me and continue to um, in my work and, and everything I do with the Blue Butterfly. I'm very honoured, um, I'm very happy, I'm very, very lucky, I'm very blessed, and so mwah, to all of you. So I wanted to say that and get that out of the way first of all. Now, where we are now, October. End of October in a, a year that has been full of thrills and spills and dark and light and just unbelievable crazy stuff coming out. We are in Crazyville, and we have been. All year really so it's not a surprise to me that we have this unusual situation where we have this full moon uh, coinciding with Halloween and also um, in the time of Mercury retrograde um, and Mars being in retrograde and we are in Scorpio season it is just wild up there wild and crazy times so no surprise again, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's quite intense at the minute. Now just a little bit about the full moon. When you have two full moons in the same month, which we do in October, then they call it a blue moon. And as if by magic, that picture has always been up on my wall. Um, I don't know, hopefully you can see it. And it's a picture of a full moon, which looks very blue, was surrounded by blue. And there's a fairy there with butterflies, so it couldn't be more perfect. Um, and I just spotted that, even though I see it, obviously, very regularly, um, every day of my life, I just noticed again um, how you, you forget sometimes, you see things so much that you forget how beautiful they are and how appropriate that is. So that's that beautiful picture up there. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's what, what's called a blue moon. Now, Halloween, let's start with Halloween. Halloween um, is a time when we are very close to our ancestors, October the 31st, first, sorry, a little bit of a list there, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, okay, so yeah, our ancestors are very, very close because the, the, the veil between dimensions is very thin. Um, and we are surrounded by so many different dimensions and we move in our lane, but the others coincide with us every now and again at this point in the year because Halloween, Samhain, whatever you want to call it, represents circles, circles and cycles of death and rebirth and how perfect at the time of full moon uh, because autumn and all of the cycles that go with it and the raven which I'm going to talk about in a little while um, and and the, sh the trees shedding their leaves ready to, to, to have that rebirth again in the spring. Autumn and spring, all about the cycle of death and rebirth. So how perfect that it's come together with this wonderful full moon. Um, now this full moon has been building. You will have felt it. I'm sure a lot of people have felt the intense energy. And it's, uh, it's an energy that could be kind of a purging or sad or dark energy or it could be um, a very intense, electric, excitable energy. Um, and, and there is the insomnia that goes 
as we come up to the full moon, which leaves you feeling a little bit sort of tired and wired. And that's a little bit how I am at the moment. Um, but but also there has been the time that people have felt over the last, uh, I think this probably started actually about a week ago, if not longer, where there was this intense sort of purging as we build up. So things coming up from the past, um, relationships, um, all that stuff we dealt with during the new, the last new moon two weeks ago, all being drawn and pulled, almost like a poultice. This full moon is pulling everything right up to the surface so we can look at it, set our intention and purposefully look at it, see where we are with it and be ready to let things go, release and move forward. Working on the base chakra at the moment, I shared something about the base chakra on my page, it's quite important at the moment. This is all about security and grounding, um, financial abundance. So I think we have a few different camps in what exactly what they're feeling at the moment, but I, there's not gonna be many people who say that it isn't kind of intense because it really, really is. Um, and it's been a messy month. It's been, we've had so much astrological stuff going on. Um, it couldn't have been more messy coming up to it. Um, I feel, I'm feeling this building very, very strongly at the moment. It's It feels like we're building up to release. But it feels very healthy to me. It's almost like I can't wait and I don't always uh, do very well with full moons, but this one feels slightly different. I feel like stuff has to release. It's almost like we know we're ready and we need to do it. So let's do it. And if you want to do that, then there are rituals that you can undertake. You can just set your intention. You can um, write things down and um, put them down as what you want to release or change. And then you can write them down as letters what I call letters to the universe which is like you know write it all down this one I change I want to release that I want to let it go put it away somewhere and then look at it in a few weeks time and just see if, if that's happened you can burn it you know whatever you want to do just whatever feels right to you or like I do I just take a few minutes just to myself and just sit in the energy of the full moon during that 24 hour period when it's strongest um and just set that intention in my mind so any and all of that any and all of that is is whatever feels right to you so do whatever um but i do feel that we do have to set an intention now because we are building up to that solstice in december and it's important to clear away what doesn't serve um halloween so it's facing ghosts of the past and ghosts of ourselves um, cutting out the bullshit, looking at ourselves, thinking, yeah, that didn't work. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to move on. I just got to clear that out first. Let it go. Let it go. Ride with the energy of this full moon and move forward. Um, November is going to be much clearer as Mercury comes out of retrograde. Um, and I just feel like it's going to be a clearer energy. Doesn't mean things aren't going to happen and challenges aren't going to come forward because they will. There just seems to be less of a drag back and more of a push forward. That's where we're going. And that's going to be a much nicer energy to work with for all of us, no matter what your astrological sign, where you are in life. Um, we've done a big purge. Time to move on. Now, you know, I mentioned uh, ravens. I'm surrounded here where I am in Cornwall. If I look out of my window now, um, the rookery is across the road. So the rooks, the ravens, the crows um, in the big trees and in the autumn, they are very, very vocal, <laughs> very, very obvious. And I, it's always around Halloween that I notice them even more. And I seem to see them sitting near me like as if they're, they're wanting to get my attention. Time to move on. Time to change. You wouldn't have heard that. But as I was saying that, they just started really shouting over there. So I just wanted to read you something about the raven, which represents um, cycles and death and rebirth. Um, and this is a picture of the raven. OK, so this card, we've got a bit of a reflection there, so I do apologise. I'm hoping you can see that. The raven, own your power. I don't usually read from the guidebooks with cards, but this one I feel um, is necessary. And this is from Stephen D. Farmer's Power Animal Oracle Cards. So the raven. I feel like the raven is drawing very close at the moment um, because it has a message for us. 
and I think we all need to hear this message in different ways. So I'm just going to read it before I do the card reveal. Raven, magic. This is a time of magic. It's Halloween. Own your power. Trying to keep yourself little by denying your power so you won't be a threat to anyone merely keeps you in a false bubble of safety. Of course, at least that way you won't get noticed much or stand out. Well, that trick has worn out its welcome. You're more powerful than you think you are, so it's time to stop pretending. Those psychic games you play, like finding convenient parking spaces or knowing when a certain person is going to call, those are just parlour tricks, yet they're subtle testimonies to the gift you have. There's no need to take on airs about your incredible talents. Let them serve you. But mainly, let them be of service to others, whether human, animal, plant or mineral. Use your abilities to demonstrate to others that there is this amazing power of spirit available that can move mountains, a force that can be accessed with the proper mix of faith, intention and focus. So stop doubting, worrying or making excuses. Own your capacity to be a powerful magician. Use these gifts to help make this a better world for all beings. And the additional associations, which I'll read as well, because I think they may be uh, very relevant to many at the moment. Shadow, insight, prophecy, shape-shifting. Now that's perfect. Every word in there, I think, is going to apply to a lot of people at the moment. There is a sense at the minute of division and separation. Um, and I think there are things going on. I'm not going to mention what they are because we all know um, that, that can make us focus too much on our own needs when we need to get back to being a community, um, a, a human race and also a planet of living, loving creatures, sentient beings, sentient beings of all types. So there's that. Um, then we, we our power grows. Also, um, there was the other thing about knowing your own power. And I do feel like a lot of people are waking up at the moment, having their spiritual awakening, moving into ascension. A lot of people are being fast tracked. I was pretty fast tracked, to be honest, when it happens to me, um, kind of blindsided me a little bit. But I have, have come across some people over the past 12 months that have just been like, it's time for you to wake up. Um, and, and if that's you, then um, that message was for you as well to harness that power. I'm also talking about magic and transformation, and that is what the full moon can do if we harness the energy, but we must ground ourselves as well. So we're talking about grounding. Um, I'll just mention that now before we move on. Grounding at the moment is really, really important. Um, it's really important to get out into nature, even if it's raining, which it is at the moment. It's important to do grounding meditations. Um, it's important to eat healthily. It's important to focus on the important, stable, safe things in your life, um, but not too much. I mean, just to keep you grounded. OK, not a time for rushing, not a time for anger, not a time for flying off the handle. Keep it level, guys, just for a bit. And then uh, when it comes into the new moon in November, then we can we can launch forward a little bit. So at the moment, that's what we need to do. But that Raven message, um, I feel is very important and yet and you may now we've we've talked about this um you may well uh, start seeing these beautiful birds they're so intelligent they're so powerful but they're not very big but they have such a presence and you have that too own it it's time to move forward fly forward like the raven so that's that okay now moving on we're going to have a look now at the cards and there were three crystals, sorry, three items as well that you could have chosen um, to help you choose the cards. You may have been drawn to them as much as you were drawn. Oh, I love holding this crystal. got so much power in it. Ooh, um, sorry, um, you may have been uh, drawn to the items as much as you were to the cards. So the first one was this, which is uh, bronze peach agate crystal okay 
and this was actually dug up from a um, an Iron Age or Bronze Age, I can't remember, sorry, um, settlement when they did an archaeological dig um, in Devon. So it's one of my favourites and it's also very connected to um, ancestors and also when um, doing past life, when I did my past life meditations a while ago for myself, um, that's how I discovered a lot of that information because this just seems to resonate and tune in. There is just such an ancient earthy feel about it. Very good for grounding as well. So that's good at the minute. So that's the first one. Okay. The second card we had um, next to it, this beautiful Hansa hand. Okay. So this was actually painted for me by good friend Carol. Um, and you may have been drawn to the eye or the hand or the cross or the flowers or whatever, or it may have been the card, whichever it was. If you chose that, that's the second card that I'll look at. And the last one is this feather. And I actually found this feather um, when I was going through a time where I was a bit at sixes and sevens and uh, was been doing a bit of purging, was looking for answers, and then, as if by magic, this uh, this turned up in a cobweb, <laughs> in a spider's web, as I was walking towards, just held there right in front of me, I walked into it, and I was actually asking for some sort of confirmation or some help, you know, because everything was a bit dicey at the time, looking back, um, and this turned up, as they always do, just at the right time, so this is for the third card, if you were drawn to that. Right, um, like I said, I don't usually use the books, um, I, and I won't be today, I'm just going to get what I get from this, and these cards that we're using are from the wonderful, I love him, um, Carl Gray, Angels and Ancestors, and I just feel, because we are very close to the ancestors at the moment, and their, their resonance in our DNA is so strong, and our closest things, obviously, we are the result of how many loves, how many generations, how many, how many hard working, tough people who have been, I mean, resilient or what, they've been through so much stuff. They hadn't survived that and they hadn't done what they did. We wouldn't be here now. And we've got all that within us. So pull on that because they're there and they're actually with you at the moment more strongly than ever. I can just feel it and sense it. And they are surrounding us in a ring, kind of holding us together and saying, yeah, go on, you can do this. It's a time for humanity to really push and move together. And it's time to find your own power, no hanging about. OK, so anyway, anyway, um, I won't use the book. I'm just going to get what I get from this, although I know what some of it says anyway, but I'm going to use my own. OK, so the first card, if you can see that, that is the hunter all right and the message there is track down your fears and desires this is very very strong um this is very interesting because although i think we've got the head of the ram there this could also be um so we've got the the ram here we this could also be um there's antlers there for a deer but this full moon is in taurus so horns um Taurus very interesting very very interesting but also the fact that he's got these horns is all about the Aries drive as well um track down your fears and desires so as you can see if you have a look give you a little long look at him he's pretty damn gorgeous actually but when he has um but he is covered in all this war paint he's ready for battle he has his, he's honouring um, the animals that he's had to, that he's killed, you know, because in those days, obviously, you didn't just nip down the supermarket and buy what you fancied, you have to kill what you needed. And he's honouring them with the presence of these um, antlers and um, the horns. He looks very direct, he's looking straight ahead. And he has his bow and arrow ready. And for you, if you chose this card, it's basically no hanging about, okay? I've just got a phrase just come to me saying, uh, tired of waiting for tomorrow. I've been waiting for tomorrow too long. And this card is saying to you, and this guidance that's coming through for those that chose this card is... Um, kind of tomorrow never comes in that you have to make it happen 
you have the power we talk about taking the power so this is perfect so what this is saying is that you have them you have the power to go forward you have the motivation harness this full moon track down your fears and desires um so this is looking at your fears head on accepting them moving through them and then breaking out and this feels like a big breakout card um this is i ain't taking no shit anymore this is i know what i want and i'm going for it and this may be a person this may be a different outlook on life this may be your personality shifting or heading for a job whatever this is and i do feel there is some sort of how should i say this um relationship heat energy here as well um so yeah if there's somebody that you want to go for now is the time track down your fears and desires you will never be stronger than you are now whatever you feel like so instead of focusing on the fears focus on strength and keep moving forward this is your time and this full moon and halloween perfect and your ancestors are so definitely with you so that's the first one the second one and that was um this beautiful crystal and he goes so well with it i mean look at him came from a bronze age iron age settlement that's him that's the crystal thank you thank you to my spirit team and your spirit team and all our guides the next one is this beautiful hands of hand and we have hmm couldn't be more perfect can you see the full moon behind her and it's the she wolf unleash the wild within let's just leave that there a minute and let you have a good old look without me yapping and i will post the pictures on my page so there she is oh yes too much playing small Again, with the raven, we were talking about the raven and power and, you know, playing too small. Too much playing small been going on here. There is so much inside you. There is so much that needs to come out. If I've got a feeling of frustration, but power. And this, somebody who's affected very strongly by the moon energy has chosen this card. If you've chosen this card, you may not even realise how much it affects you. But if you start charting this every month, you'll notice the new moon and full moon um, are the times that that really affect you um, now the wolf is featured and these are like the headdresses from um, uh, ancient times where they used to um, again with like this one you know he's using the animals that he's killed he's honoring them by using the, their horns and everything and, and embracing that power like I said embracing the power of the Aries this is embracing the power of the wolf OK, so the wolf is associated with the moon and she is howling at the moon. Again, embrace this power. OK, embrace the power now. I feel it like it's feeding into you, like falling into you, just like light waves. It's like a, an energy just pulsing through you, filling you with this beautiful pulsing energy. Um, take it and use it. You don't have to play small. You don't have to just accept. Don't just accept. That's what this is about. This full moon is transformational for you. It's windy. I keep seeing windy and it has been windy, but it's like, I'm not sure if the wind is just blowing you through or if you've been out in windy weather or, or something, but this feels very windy and pushing and pushing and, and all the way around the last few weeks have just been like tumultuous and purging and all that sort of stuff. OK, look at the stillness in this picture. Look at the concentration. Set your sights on what you want. Feel that stillness over the next 24, 48 hours of the intense time of the full moon and then harness it and unleash that power. The power that's within you, okay? You're allowed to use it. Don't think you're small. Don't think you're not worth it. It just feels like, whew. and I'm feeling divine feminine energy here very strongly. 
Um, so this is either you as you, your divine feminine energy, and that could be a man or a woman because we have both. Um, or this could be a man, masculine energy, who is who's thinking about a, very strongly about a, a very strong, beautiful, uh, divine feminine uh, character and almost like a um, the Roman goddess of the hunt, Diana, which goes very well with this. So I'm just thinking... Could this be a twin flame relationship? Sorry, I'm picking them both up, but these two just seem to want to be together. Um, so that may be another hint for either of these cards, the twin flame thing going on there. A lot of attraction. Time to decide what you're going to do. Time to harness the energy of the full moon. Exciting. Exciting. But for the feminine, this is you on your terms use your strength know your power don't settle for less you deserve more that's that one beautiful beautiful okay and the last one is the feather and we have i love this card came out for me a few times um when i struggled in the past you know um, everybody has challenges including me and this one is just such a beautiful So if you chose this card and this was the feather, then what we're saying is, and again, we've got blue, a lot of blue. Um, so that's the blue, the blue full moon, full blue moon, whatever you want to say. Um, this is the circle, obviously, and we've got a new moon there and we've got the full moon here. That's what this means to me. It may seem to me, if you know any more about it, let me know, but that's what it, I see and I'm telling you what I see um then there is the eye okay so to me that's very egyptian energy and i've got my uh, lapis on today which is um, i often wear around full moon because it's a powerful um manifestation crystal so guardian angel you are not alone um if you're feeling alone at the moment if you feel isolated if you're going through some shit um which we all do sometimes please know that even in your darkest times you are never alone okay and remember you may be feeling okay at the moment but um this is this is stretching over the next couple of weeks so something may come up um then just to remind you about this you may also see a feather or a wing or birds i feel that's very strongly and owls i know we've got owls on the back but i'm, I'm thinking owls so there you go um but this really is this one is you are not alone you are never alone. If you're not sure if you have a spirit team around you, please know that you do. And please call on them because they really want to help and step forward. And your guardian angel is somebody that's been with you through past lives. It's, you, it's your soul connection. OK, so it's not this body this time. It's your soul that's connected with this angel. And I just feel like all this love and purity coming through. You're not alone. You're going to get through this. You are loved. There's a bit of sadness here and a bit of grief as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's grief for a person or a relationship or a life or, or, or job. or I'm not sure exactly what it is or a part of you. Use this, this full moon energy now um, to cleanse yourself. Do things like having um, a salt bath. Epsom salt bath is great. Get out in the wild weather. Let that cleanse you. And then then really self, self care. Um, pamper yourself a little bit. If tears have got to come away, let them go. And then set that intention to move forward. If you don't feel strong at the moment, know that you're surrounded by strength. All right. And if you've got a decision to make, use this time to think about it and make that decision. And then... Um, over the next couple of weeks, and especially as we get to the middle of November, you can start putting that into practice. Um, but whatever you're going through at the moment, you really are not alone. Um, I've been told, look for the light, look to the light, look for the light. OK, so if that's a light around you or or if it's just heading out of the darkness and and seeing the light, that may just be, you know, you're staying in a lot because you're feeling a bit miserable or you have to. If you can just get some light on you um, and feel that light and that warmth 
um, then that will help simple things as well but really call in your guardian angel if you've never talked to them before talk to them now because they they are close the veil is very thin and and they really want to help you but look for feathers and wings and angels and light um because you will get through this this is just it's been a purge the last month for you has been hard hard going the whole year but definitely last month but that was just to get rid of it all it's horrible when we're going through it but it was a purge for you to see what needs to be shifted and know how strong you are oh my love you've been through it but um you're coming to the other side of it and i just feel i can see light coming for you over the next couple of weeks a much lighter warmer clearer energy um and i just keep wanting to say your guardian angel's with you keep looking for signs look for feathers look for other things like that um, and, and don't turn away. It's almost like you're turning away from them. Don't turn away. They are still there. They're always there. You just had to kind of go through this stuff. You're getting out and it's going to make you stronger and it's going to make your life in the long run much better. And you're learning so many lessons in this particular life that you didn't learn in past. I've just been told that as well. In past lives, it needs to be done now. OK, um, you're a beautiful soul. Hold on tight. You're stronger than you think. You have power. Keep going. OK, so that is the message. All right. So. Yeah, I just uh, anchor in this energy is what I would say about this full moon. Um, I'm just going to quick look at my notes. Is there anything else I wanted to say? To be honest, I think we've we've covered just about all of it, but. I just want to say as well that, yeah, this year has been tough. We've got a lot going on and um, it, it it will get easier and clearer. But we just got to this. This full moon is all about bringing the last few bits of darkness um, up to clear. But yeah, harness this energy. Have a great Halloween um, on this full moon um, and set your intentions. Bathe yourself in that light. Know your power feel your power it is there let go of what's holding you back this is your life take hold of it take the reins what you've been through is what you've been through keep moving forward okay so that's uh that's all i've got to say really at the minute again thank you so much for being here thank you so much for listening to me um and um if you would uh kindly um, it would be great if you like the video and if you subscribe to the channel because you know the more subscriptions I get the more I'll keep making the videos and that's what I want to do um, and I'm just gonna just point to that beautiful blue moon again okay bathe yourself in the energy move forward and I'll put all the information that I need to put in the description box um, and just before I go um, just saying that um, I do have um, some room for sessions um not until probably about the middle of next week moving on from there i do in november and um, at the moment the special office i always have something running at the moment it's a ground to flow sort of chakra energy clearing and grounding our energy for the full moon and going forward and that is usually um how much is it usually 40 pounds and doing it for 30 pounds just till the end of november because i feel like we could all do with that so it's a cleansing meditative process um, including a card reading and then we just work on the chakras from the card reading what comes up which chakras need working on so there's that um, I also offer the butterfly hour which I do at a very reasonable price because I just want um, everybody to have some time to themselves at the moment and that's just an hour of meditation and also um, some guidance with the cards and um, yeah and that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm offering at the moment i've also got a fantastic new reading which is going really well with clients and it's over the past life reading i used to do um i am actually offering what's called an other life reading because it seems to be different dimensions are coming up past lives future lives you name it um it comes up and it's been transformational so that's being offered as well but yeah do check my page out and my website i'll put the details in the description box i'm wishing you um a wonderful a wonderful Halloween and full moon. Keep grounded. Keep moving forward. Much love. <laughs>